Greetings and a warm welcome to all of our cherished viewers. In today's enlightening session, we're embarking on a mesmerizing exploration dedicated to the Third Eye Chakra, more formally known in the sacred language of Sanskrit as Ajna. This pivotal episode aims to gently guide your understanding through the intricate maze that is the Ajna, illuminating its profound significance, distinctive characteristics, and invaluable practices to nourish and finely tune it for enhanced intuition and insightful self-expression. Understanding Ajna The term Ajna has its roots deeply embedded in Sanskrit, subtly translating to command or perceiving. This chakra sits majestically between the eyebrows, casting a spell-binding indigo aura, a color akin to the night sky, just before it succumbs to total darkness. It's within this chakra that the element of light finds its true home. Ajna is our spiritual command center, influencing our intuition and insight, and playing an instrumental role in crafting our intellectual identity and foresight. Importance of the Third Eye Chakra the Ajna isn't just another chakra, it's a treasure trove of intuition and insight, a gateway to the foresight necessary for navigating the maze of life. It's significant in fostering not just imagination, but a visionary imagination, capable of seeing beyond the visible and touching the tapestry of the universe. Ajna is indispensable for spiritual awakening and prophecy, and is a conduit for connecting with the infinite wisdom and the higher self within us. Signs of a Balanced Third Eye Chakra A balanced Ajna is akin to having a guiding star in the night sky. Your intuition isn't just active. It's crystal clear, acting as a guiding light. In this balanced state, your dreams are not random. They are vivid, carrying messages and tales from the depths of the subconscious. With Ajna in harmony, imagination isn't just fantasy. It's a tool, a canvas of infinite possibilities. A balanced third eye also means openness to spiritual adventures and explorations, an eagerness to understand the invisible energy that moves through all things. Identifying imbalances in Ajna Just as the night sky is sometimes clouded, an underactive Ajna can lead to a foggy intuition, confusion and mistrust of one's inner voice. Conversely, an overactive Ajna isn't a carnival either. It often results in overthinking, excessive worry, and misunderstanding of spiritual insights. Recognizing and understanding these symptoms is vital for spiritual and mental equilibrium. Healing and balancing techniques for Ajna meditation. Techniques and visualization exercises are invaluable tools for those seeking to bring balance to the Ajna. Crystals, those silent keepers of earth energy like the mystical amethyst and the deep celestial lapis lazuli, are allies in healing and balancing the third eye. Embrace lifestyle modifications and practices that are known to foster a vibrant and harmonious Ajna. Nourishing Ajna through Lifestyle Sharpen your intuitive blade and nurture your foresight and insight through engaging in daily practices and activities that stimulate the mind and the spirit. Immerse yourself in tasks and hobbies that unleash the imagination, opening doors to intellectual expansion and identity. In closing, remember Ajna, your third eye chakra is not just a chakra. It's a window, a gateway, a command center, influencing how you perceive and interact with the world. Engage actively with the practices and knowledge shared today, and you'll develop a more refined, intuitive, and insightful approach to life. If this exploration of Ajna resonated with you, show your support by liking, commenting, and sharing this video with those you feel would benefit. Subscribe to stay updated on our forthcoming videos and remember to share your thoughts, experiences and questions about the Third Eye Chakra in the comments below. Our upcoming video promises to be another enlightening experience as we ascend to explore the Sahasrara or Crown Chakra. Until then, take care and continue your journey of self-discovery and healing.